Okay, this is the second uh, variation of the Danish medallion we're going to try out now. And it's pretty similar to the first one we did. The only difference is you use a darning needle and a length of thread. And the length of thread should be probably three times the length that you would need. So, to do this, you make your shed, put your accent yarn through. Tuck in the end of your weft. And then make as many shots as you would like of your regular weft. Okay, and then you go back to your accent yarn again, make a new shed. This time I think I'll make big medallions, so I'll go under seven here, see what that's like. Pull it out. Now you go under your warp. Find the same spot on your warp. If you follow it down, it would be right here. Follow it through and then catch, catch it here. And see, it's like, almost like a blanket stitch that you're doing. And instead, you can see on the first one we did with the um, crochet hook, you had a loop, so you had two threads showing. This one, you just have the one thread, so it's just a little bit more delicate. Go under this one, go down, follow that warp thread through, right there catch it here. And just do that all the way across the same as you did with the other. Seven. Go down there. Follow that warp. Make a loop here. And follow it through. You can make a, a little medallion if you want. Go down again. it's a little bit time consuming but you wouldn't do many rows of it anyway. Catch it and pull the loop through. Uh, back to the big one. This is our last medallion on the left side, and you do the same as you, as you did with the crochet hook. You catch it just to the right of the last warp, like this. There. Oops. 
your loop. Like that. Now if you were going to do a second row, that doesn't look very good. There. If you're going to make a second row of medallions, you'd change your shed, go back with your accent yarn, make some more rows of tabby. This is for your second row of medallions. Set aside your regular yarn. You could either split your medallions or make them exactly the same. So if I was going to make them exactly the same, I'd go over my seven again like this. And go in the same spot that I had before. and go all the way across like that, making medallions, and they'd be in the same spot. If I wanted to split my medallions, I could here just go under three, go down, follow that warp thread through, and come up right here. Now you have a medallion that's split with the other one. Here would go split this one again. Go down there. And follow your warp thread. Not the down there. Follow that warp, this warp thread. So it's in the middle of your last medallion. And go across like that. So you can see these guys are split up. And that's it. That, that's the darning needle method. And I've kind of showed you how to do more than one row and how to split your medallions. And we'll just have one more video to go.